All right, my friends over at Space City Weather have got things sort of excited today on the internet because they have announced that the hurricane season for the state of Texas is over. Well, there's some finer print that has to be read a little bit along with that, but uh, excited that we get the opportunity to speak to Eric Berger this morning uh, again with Space City Weather. And uh, Eric, thanks for joining us. And, and tell me why today you feel confident that you can make the announcement that uh, <laughs> hurricane season is over for Texas. Well, we feel pretty good about that because the historical odds of the state getting hit by a hurricane. Now, we still could get tropical moisture, tropical systems, but we're talking about specifically major hur or hurricane, so significant wind events, that kind of thing. Um, the historical odds of, of getting hit after this time of year is about 1 in 50. Um, and as you know, John, if you look out at the wind shear forecast for the next 10 days, two weeks over the Gulf of Mexico, our part of this area, it's really very high. So never say never, and certainly the Gulf of Mexico is very warm, but this feels like a pretty good time to call it an end and put a lid on this season for Texas. And, and we really only had one storm, so it was good. Yeah, I was going to point that out that, uh, again, historically, I, I look forward to you announcing this is something you do every year, uh, right about this time of year, of course. Um, but uh, specifically, uh, you know, kind of nail down why 2023 uh, could be included with this uh, announcement. Yeah, we've just seen, you know, the Gulf of Mexico, especially since Hurricane Idalia went into Florida, has just been on complete lockdown um, from activity. The, the pattern has not favored storms coming into the Gulf of Mexico, and we've just seen this, these really very high wind shear levels that even if something had gotten in the Gulf, it would have gotten ripped apart. And that forecast really is expected to continue. That likely gets us into early October. And at that point, we're really entering a fall-like pattern that, that pushes storms away from the state of Texas. So, you know, again, never say never, but you've got to feel pretty good now in the state of Texas with this hurricane season. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the graphic that we show all the time, the climatology of the Atlantic Basin, where, you know, it does sort of show that historic outline, shows, you know, the peak uh, towards the beginning of September. And so I'm gonna give you the opportunity to just sort of, uh, again, clarify why are you making that announcement now when our, our graphics <laughs> kind of would, would indicate that we still have some fairly active times uh, before uh, we would expect to see that downside. Yeah, so if you were to show another graphic that, that kind of shows the focus of activity, you know, the Gulf of Mexico, especially the Western Gulf, really heats up in August and September. But by the time you get to October, things really start to shift eastward and so for Florida very much in play the Caribbean very much in play but Texas and even even Louisiana to some extent really the the historical odds you know fall off and and if you look if we look out further you know we're starting to see some evidence that we're going to finally see some significant fall fronts and just the overall steering patterns and, and movement of the jet stream really the the upper level flow tends to steer anything that gets in the Gulf away from Texas. Okay, I want to make sure and that folks are aware, you know, you've got Space City weather. I think a lot of us know about that. But recently, you've also talked a little bit more about the tropics. I want you to be able to talk about your, uh, your tropics page. Well, you're very kind, John. Yeah, we launched, uh, my partner and I, Matt Lanza, launched the iWall uh, to, to take our coverage of, of Atlantic hurricanes kind of across the country into the Caribbean and, and Central, Central America. So we've been watching out. It's been a super busy season, but we've been really lucky. I mean, obviously, Adalia was a very bad storm, but most of the major hurricanes we've seen have stayed out in the Central Atlantic Ocean, which is the way we like it. All right, Eric Berger, Space City Weather and the iWall, thanks for joining us this morning.